What's up guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. Today we're gonna to be doing an oil change on a 6.0 liter Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. Let's get to work. All right, let's go over some of the things you're gonna need here. You're going to need four gallons. That's right, gallons. The truck actually takes three and three quarter gallons, but uh, you know, they, they come in one gallon containers, so just get four gallons. Or if you like quarts, you can get yourself 15 quarts, <laughs> but uh, it's actually cheaper to get them in the one gallon form. Uh, so get four of those. I always use the, the Shell Rotella T6, uh, the 5W40 in my truck. You know, I'm here in California and it doesn't ever get to freezing temperatures. If you're in a climate where the, you do get freezing temperatures, uh, you may want to go with the uh, 1530. Yeah, be better for you. Uh, highly, highly, highly recommend, I can't stress it enough, use the OEM Motocraft oil filter. There's too many horror stories of people using aftermarket oil filters that cause uh, catastrophic engine failure. And we'll go over that in a bit, but just definitely get this OEM oil filter. And next thing I recommend is to always, whenever you do an oil change, change out your um, brass crush washer on your oil drain plug. I'm going to actually be switching to this uh, Mishimoto magnetic oil drain plug. Uh, I like magnetic drain plugs because every time you do an oil change, you take it out and you can see if there's any medical metal particles on there uh, kind of give you an indication of how your engine's doing and yeah, some of the tools you're going to need uh, three-quarter wrench or socket uh, the factory drain plug is three-quarter and since i'm switching to this mishimoto i'll use the three-quarter to take the factory drain plug out and then this mishimoto actually uses a 15 16 so i'll be using that to put it back on and this bale socket here is an inch and seven sixteenths, and that is for the uh, uh, the oil filter housing cap. It's actually a 32 millimeter, but for some reason I can't find that socket. And this this inch and seven sixteenths fits on there just fine. Finally, you're going to need a five gallon bucket because remember you're draining three and three quarter gallons of oil out of the truck, so you'll need a five gallon bucket, and that'll be about it. So, let's get to it. All right, here's what you're looking for in the engine bay. Right here is your oil filter housing. That's where your big old socket's gonna take the cap off. Right here is where you put your oil in after you've drained it. And here, is your dipstick check your oil level all right underneath the truck here this is your oil pan that's where your three-quarter socket is going to drain the oil from not this one this is your transmission oil pan leave leave that one alone <laughs> it's this this one up here that you want now right, the first thing we're going to do is remove the oil filter which is kind of backwards from a normal car normally you would drain the oil and then take the oil filter off uh, but in this case we need to take the filter out first because inside here in the bottom there's a little valve which drains all this oil back down into the pan and that's dirty oil so we need to make sure that oil gets back into the pan before we drain the oil pan. Now this cap is spring loaded so be careful not to let it go flying off. You'll feel when it starts to get close. And just pull your filter up out of there. Make sure you got a pan close by. Let me see if I can get you a view down in there so you can see that valve. So you can see right down in there, there's a little valve right there, right in the middle of the screen there. And what happens is this filter is spring-loaded in there and it's holding that valve down. 
And so when you when you lift the filter up out of there, it opens that valve and drains all the oil back down into the pan. Now the issue with aftermarket filters is a lot of them are not the right size. And so you put it in there and it won't properly push that valve all the way down. And then the oil is just leaking right past it, not even getting filtered. You're just running, you know, pre-filtered oil through your engine because it's going directly through that valve. So that's why I, I definitely recommend the Motocraft filter. All right, so I just found myself in a situation that I hope you guys don't have to deal with. So I slid my five gallon bucket underneath my truck here to make sure it fit. And, and it fit just fine with the truck sitting on the ground. I got some big old tires on here, so the bucket fit on here just fine, but it won't fit underneath the oil pan. <laughs> Uh, so I would have to jack the truck up and get the five gallon bucket under here but all of my jack stands are underneath other cars right now so what I found myself having to do here is I'm gonna have to drain oil into this pan until it's full then empty that into the five gallon <laughs> you know plug plug the oil pan back up empty that thing put it back take the plug back out fill that up empty it back and forth back <laughs> until all the oil is drained out so that sucks normally you just put a five gallon bucket under here and and just let it drain but now I gotta sit here and babysit it That's filling up fast. Oh, it already has a magnetic one on there. I didn't know that. Look at that. Oh, this is going to suck. Sit there and uh, sit there and drain. Well, guys, I'm pretty upset. I was real excited about putting this Mishimoto oil drain plug in there, and as soon as I took it out of the box, I noticed there was an issue. It is much bigger than the factory. That uh, this Mishimoto is actually. Uh, it's a 1.5 thread. It's freaking magnets. Fuck <laughs> that. Anyways, it's, it, the Mishimoto is a 1.5, whereas the factory is a 1.25. And I ordered this one just because, you know, I got on Amazon and I typed in 2004 F250 oil drain plug, and this is what it popped up as recommended. So. That's my fault. I should have done a little more research and made sure that this was actually the right thread pitch. But that sucks, man. That would have looked real nice underneath there. This is the one that I bought. So uh, don't buy this one. Well, since my Mishimoto plug ain't gonna work, I gotta put the freaking factory one back in. things happen I'll just figure out what the correct one is and we'll have it for the next time Alrighty. 
All right, let's fill her up. All right, let's start filling this thing up. Now remember, this is going to take uh, about three and three quarter uh, gallons, or you know, 15 quarts, about the same thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump, you know, three gallons in there, and then for the last three quarters of a gallon, I'll do a quart at a time. Check the dipstick each time, just until we get to where we need to be, and then we'll put the filter in. We got three gallons in there, but now I want to talk about the uh, the oil filter real quick. So normally when I do an oil change on a car, I will fill the oil filter full of new oil and then put it on just so it's pre-filled with oil. Uh, but in the case of this truck, we're not able to do that. Uh, one, because it's just a filter. It's not inside of a you know casing like a normal oil filter and two it actually goes down into the housing so we can't fill it up um, and I don't like the idea of putting a dry filter in there because then the filter needs to soak up oil before it'll push through and then continue on to the engine so for a while there it you know it's only a couple seconds but your oil your engine is running without any oil for a couple seconds and I just don't like the idea of that. So what I do here is I take a two liter bottle of soda, cut the top off, put the new filter in there, fill it up with new oil, and I just let it sit and soak while I'm doing everything else. Like I did this before uh, I drained the oil and before I put the new oil in there. So it's been sitting here soaking for a little while. And then we'll just take this and drop it in there and then pour the rest of this new oil uh, down in there. Now this is kind of messy. I actually accidentally put too much oil in here, so it's wanting to overflow on me. <laughs> but just lift her up out of here. Oh yeah, look at all that clean oil. And very quickly to try and minimize the mess, jump over here. And slide her down on there. Yeah. We'll take our our cap with a brand new O-ring on it, and that clicks onto the filter. Ah, too much springy. I got too much going on here right now. Camera, filter, everything going on. So this clicks in there. There you go. So we click together and then we just push this down and screw her on. And then remember this cap is plastic, all right? You don't need to put a massive amount of torque on this thing. You know, you'll end up cracking this cap. All right, now this cap, it gets torqued down to 25 newton meters, and I don't have a torque wrench big enough to fit on this socket. So, I'm just gonna kinda feel it. Eh. That feels pretty good right there. I'll just leave it there. <laughs> now, we'll finish putting in the oil. Uh, check the dipstick. We were just below the middle so we don't need too much more oil so I'll go ahead and uh, finish filling that up to where we need to be all right I don't know if the camera will pick this up 
but we're right in the middle there so we are right where we want to be with the oil all right put our oil fill cap back on and we are done all right let's start this bad boy up let her run for a few minutes get that oil circulating I actually haven't started this truck in probably, I think it's been like three weeks or so. So hopefully she'll even start. Might have a dead battery. Yeah, baby. Get out of here! <laughs> All right. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Truck's pretty loud, but uh, yeah, that's how you do an oil change on your six-liter Power Stroke. I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, you know, the, it's a little different from your standard uh, oil change on a car, but. You don't need to go to a mechanic for an oil change, all right? You can, you can do it yourself. Uh, so, if you enjoyed the video, you know, hopefully you'll subscribe. Uh, if you haven't checked out my previous video, you can hit that link up here uh, to check out the next video, whatever that may be. You can click the link up there. If you enjoyed the video, maybe hit that subscribe down here. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.